watching. You're 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 watching. Están mirando. You're watching Harry TV. Good morning, Herons, and welcome back to another episode of Heron TV. I'm Mr. Cole, and today is Wednesday the 30th, and this is episode number two. Well, we have certainly had the most interesting September that I can remember, and hopefully we are all getting the hang of things by now. Now, let's start off this episode as we usually do with our update from our administrators. Thanks for the introduction. Hey everyone, Principal brought us here and let's see, Duchess? Yeah, there she goes, all right. So Duchess just got her hair cut, so she decided she wanted to be part of this um, presentation that we're gonna share with you. Anyway, so your admin team and I, we decided we wanted to share with you some things that we love about fall, now that we've entered into the official season. I'll be honest with you guys, now I really love summer. I love everything to do with summer. I love long days, I love heat, I love water, I love palm trees, I love white sandy beaches. All the whole package of summer just has me so stoked. So when we go into fall, I have to think differently. So there's a couple of things that I love about fall that I'll share with you. The first thing is, Corn on the cob. Yeah, that's right, you gotta have corn. You gotta have corn in the fall. Put some butter on it, it is delicious. The second thing that I love, and hopefully you guys have had the opportunity to do this, if not, find some time to do it. If not now, at some point in your life, you gotta go to the corn maze at night. It is the funnest thing ever. Take a group of people and you kinda go through the mazes and you get lost and you get scared and they have people jumping out at you, it's so fun. The last thing that I love and probably the most important thing that gets me through fall and part of winter, you guys will know this, my seventh graders should know and my eighth graders should know. But sixth graders, let me introduce you to Mrs. Broadus. Here we go. Ta -da! Yes, that's right guys. Check it out. I love football. I love the Saints. So those are the things that I love about fall. Mrs. Fortuna, what do you love about fall? Thank you so much, Miss Bratis, and hello, Happy Valley Middle School. I hope that you're having an amazing week. I just want to take a moment and introduce myself. My name is Mrs. Fortuna. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Happy Valley Middle School. This is my second year of getting to be an administrator here, and I am so grateful to be working with such amazing staff, students, and families. Well, the season is definitely changing, and fall is on its way. This is my absolute favorite season of the whole year. I love the crisp air and the warm breezes. But my absolute favorite thing about fall is the changing leaves and all the amazing colors. I hope that you all have a great week. Over to you, Mr. Mulligan. Thanks, Mrs. Fortuna. Hi, Herons. Mr. Mulligan here, one of the other assistant principals at Happy Valley Middle School. There's many wonderful things about fall, but my favorite is college football. And if you know me, I'm a big Ducks fan. Obviously, college football is a little different this year, but I love being able to spend time with friends and family, cook some great food, and watch some great games. Well, Herons, that's all we have for you today for your admin team. Make sure you make it an awesome week. Work your hardest. Mr. Cole, we turn it back to you. Thanks, team. We here at Heron Television strive to provide inspiration to students and families and our community. Let's turn things over to Mr. Oliver for this week's Quote of the Week. Hi Herons, I hope you're enjoying this week's show. This week's Quote of the Week comes to us from the recently departed Supreme Court Justice, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Fight for the things that you care about, but do it in a way that will lead others to join you. And that was your Quote of the Week. Thank you Justice Ginsburg for serving our nation on the highest court in the land. While Herons don't have an opportunity to serve in our judicial system yet, you all have an opportunity to serve your school by contributing to Heron TV. If you are interested, please send us an email to herontelevision at gmail.com to learn all the details. Our school needs you to make this show possible. As we've reached the end of September, the air has started to chill and the leaves have begun to change color. Let's check the weather forecast to see what kind of fall weather we can anticipate. The 
weather around here is no laughing matter. Our team of meteorologists works around the clock to bring you the most accurate forecast possible. And speaking of laughing matters, let's see what joke Mr. Peterson has in store for us in this week's joke of the day. Oh, hello parents. Do you want to hear a joke? Why was the cat afraid of the tree? Because of its bark. Ha! Get it? Have a good day, Herons. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. We always appreciate your sense of humor. Did you know that Mr. Peterson spends most of his free time watching cat videos on the internet? It's true. He is absolutely fascinated by the feline species. I'm sure he'll love this week's random fact of the episode. Hey, Herons. Did you know cat's ears are really mobile? They actually have 32 individual muscles in each ear. That allows the ears to move independently of each other and of the cat's head, so they can hear super well. So my Phineas here can hear things coming at her from all different directions. That's just not a random fact. That's your random fact of the episode. Bye, Herons! Thanks, Miss Adams. You learn something new every day. Since we aren't learning in person each day, we don't get to learn as much about our teachers. To help change that, each episode, we will be getting to know a different staff member each week with our Staff Spotlight. Well, hi, Ms. Sargent, how are you? I'm really good. I'm so excited to be here uh, working in my classroom today. First of all, let me introduce you to our students. Everybody, this is Miss Sargent. Miss Sargent teaches sixth grade science and a really awesome class called Engineer It. Um, so sixth grade Engineer It is all about learning the engineer it process and like how to build stuff, how to design and draw and build your own things. 3D printing, 3D sketching online. I've got cool stuff that 3D printed. I love outer space, so I 3D printed astronaut and things like that. Um, so that's sixth grade. Um, and then seventh and eighth grade is all about like, um, we move further on that design stuff and we get into some electronics and computer stuff. We do coding and programming. Oh my gosh, that sounds um, really amazing, but also just a little too difficult for me like wow it sounds like total nerd out building and design stuff i'm all about nerding out on stuff that's my favorite uh you are a nerd you're like one of my favorite nerd friends ever um <laughs> let's see some of the nerdy things you like are star trek i know you're a trekkie i love star trek i love even i collect little nerdy stuff and I love the new series, the animated one. So fun. How are your kitty cats? They're wonderful. I have three kitty cats, and they keep me entertained all the time. They hang out with me outside, too. They love to adventure. Aww. And they're creepy and licorice and bashful. And they're just fun all the time. And I like to put pictures of them sometimes on my assignments just for fun. <laughs> I know. Uh, how do you just, I heart cats too. So we have that together. <laughs> Meow. Um, okay. So one little, um, thing that I can't, uh, I can't let this interview go without mentioning, uh, Phoenix Suns. Hello. What is that? A dance team or some solar system nerdy science club? I don't I get it. Watch basketball all the time. <laughs> My husband, we are Phoenix Suns fans. And kids like to give me a hard time because they don't have the best record. But I have to remind you, they won 8-0 and at the restart. So, Thank you so much. And uh, we'll be seeing you in the, uh, I don't know, where do we see each other? The cloud? The atmosphere? Yeah, virtual. Virtual. Yeah. Looking we'll good. In the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friend. All right. Bye. Bye. 
Thanks, Ms. Pearson and Ms. Sargent. It's great to learn a little bit more about our staff. Which teacher would you like to see featured on this show? Take a moment to vote on which staff member you would like to learn more about by filling out the survey linked in the description below. Well, that's all we have time for this week, but we'll be back next week at the same time and at the same place. Enjoy your Wednesday, Herons. I'm Mr. Cole. Welcome back and have a great day, Herons. 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 Have a great day. Have a great day.